but a new outbreak of hostility between Arabs and Jews has given Kahana new strength. Scenes like this over the past few months, individual Jews killed, others wounded, mainly by Arabs from the West Bank, acting with little apparent coordination. Pushed by public outrage, the government has taken tough new measures, curfews, arrests, even deportation of suspected terrorists and the bulldozing of their homes. We are slowly sliding into a, an Ulster situation, into a Belfast situation, slowly. The cycle of violence only increases the bitterness of the new generation of young Arabs and Jews. The young Arabs, who have never known a time when the West Bank was not occupied by Israel, and who daily see armed Jewish settlers walking through the West Bank towns. And the young Jews, who after decades of war and in the middle of a fierce economic crisis, still have no real hope of peace. I think people are frustrated. They're frustrated after so many years of trying a peace. There's no peace. There's continued war. There's continued terrorism, especially after, after the murders that were recently up north. People are aggravated. People don't know how to fight this. People know that the only person that's a hardliner on all of the issues and that's saying what they really believe is Kahana. He's the person that's coming out to the people. Kahana turned up in the Arab West Bank city of Hebron, for example, a couple of days after a Jewish settler was knifed in the marketplace there. Every tragedy gives us greater strength. And it's not going to be long before we have the power to clean this place out. And that's where I want them out, out, out. Many Israeli soldiers make little secret of their support for Kahana, as do some of the settlers. If I were the settlers, I would, I would rampage through this town and put the fear of God 